Hi guys, welcome to my video. In today's session, I'm going to show you how to configure a VPN between your VPC in AWS and your remote data center protected by a checkpoint firewall. So basically, this is a VPN between a checkpoint firewall in your data center and your VPC. To get going, in front of me is the diagram that we are going to use. I've got a VPC, which is a default VPC with a CDA 172.31.0.0/16. Inside that VPC, I've got a test instance 172.31.14. To two seven. This is the instance which is going to be behind the AWS VPN gateway, virtual private gateway. On the remote side, I'm going to have a server with IP 192.168.15.119. And this is going to be behind a checkpoint firewall. In order to start the process, we are going to require the public IP address of the checkpoint. This is my HTTPS session to the checkpoint. And the public IP of checkpoint is 132442381.54. We are going to copy this IP address is that is going to be defined as the customer gateway IP. We go to my VPC, select customer gateway, select create customer gateway, give it a name, checkpoint, paste the IP address here, then create customer gateway. Second step, scroll down, go to virtual private gateway. Virtual private gateway is the VPN termination point on the AWS side which is the opposite of the customer gateway on the other end. Select create, I can just name it VGW, then create. Once the VGW is, is created, you need to attach it to the correct VPC. Attach to VPC, the VPC in use here is AWS VPC, which is the default VPC then attach. The next step, we need to create our VPN. Select create VPN. Let's name the VPN VPN to checkpoint. We have got two options here. You can either use a transit gateway or a virtual private gateway. But since I've created a virtual private gateway, that's the option that I'm going to select for now. Then select our VGW. Customer gateway. We already created our customer gateway. Then we can select it again from the list. We've got the option of using dynamic routing or static routing. For this VPN, I'm going to use static routing. IP prefixes. This is the network behind the checkpoint gateway, which is 192.168.0.0 slash 16. Local and remote. This is more of an access list. The default is just allow any. I'll leave it like that. Then we go create VPN. The process takes a few minutes. However, we can do other steps as we wait. I go back to services EC2. Go to my instances. Select the instance that is behind the virtual private gateway. Go to networking. Select its subnet. Go to its routable. At the moment, you can see that default traffic or default traffic goes to the internet gateway. Edit the routes, route propagation, then enable route propagation. This setting is going to push VPN routes into your static route table. This happens when the VPN comes up. We should be able to see a 192.168 range being routed to a virtual private gateway. Let's go back to our VPN. I had just paused the video for this process to complete. Now the configuration is done on a W side. The only thing that we need to do is to download the configuration to use on the checkpoint side. Select download. I'm running checkpoint R81, so I'll select R80 plus then download. We open our configuration file. We are going to follow instructions from this file to configure our checkpoint. You have got the option to use SSH or you can use the web interface on the checkpoint gateway. I'm going to show you the web interface method. Open my checkpoint. First, I'll go to interfaces here. Copy this part. If you've got a similar tunnel already configured, you just rename. But since this is my first tunnel, as a demo, I'll just copy the name as it is. 
and they remember this name we are going to use it on the dashboard as well it, they must be consistent i'll show you that part so we copy this name go add here vpn tunnel select the name that we copied here then select id number one it's also indicated here enda one vpn tunnel type choose numbered then we will need this address as well for the local copy that part come over here let me put it as a comment so that i can type it in one six nine dot two five four dot one two six that's the local side then you put the remote side as well i'll copy the remote ip do the same thing i'm just using this pasting to avoid going from one i'm using one screen here so this is the tunnel ip on the checkpoint side and this is on the remote side on the virtual private gateway okay we'll save this tunnel interface now we go back to our file that we downloaded copy this command normally that should be set already to mtu of 1500 by default but i'll just show you what you need to do what they mean you can basically paste the looks like i can't paste unless if i done ssh so i have to type it. set interface vpn to you set interface vpnt1 mtu vpnt1 mtu 1500 then you save your config and we can close this go back to our file again we need to configure the static routing since we know the remote side is with an ip range 172.31 so this is our AWS VPC the 172.31. We need to put a route here. So let's give this IP again, copy. Go back to our interface, select static routes, add here, destination. I'll put this as a comment. So our destination in this case is 172. 31.0.0 mask 255.255.0.0 that is the network behind the virtual private gateway next op normal then we add our ip address which is the one that i've put as a comment here 169.254.19 one two five that's the remote tunnel ip of the vgw then you select that if you check here it's indicated select ping and choose save the interface has changed a little bit this ping is now configured under the reachability options so we go we accept this save it we go to reachability options reachability detection then you add the ip here then you select ping this helps the gateway to know if one tunnel is down so that it swaps the routes to the second tunnel we now go to our checkpoint dashboard which is already open here double click the gateway view or network management you can see I've got symbol inside and outside interfaces. At the moment, you don't see the VPN tunnel interfaces. Hence, we need to pull them here. Get interfaces without topology. Accept. Now you can see our tunnel interface has been pulled into the checkpoint manager. Then you save. The next step, we we'll go back again to our file. We copy the IP address of the VGW. Then we go new, more. 
interoperable device. So here, remember I said there needs to be some consistency. You need to have that AWS tunnel one. Is the name of the interoperable device. If you put another name, any fancy name here, even if it's a name, it will not work. That consistency is required. It's a common mistake that people do. Then under topology, you go to VPN domain, you go to user defined, then select new, new group, symbol group. Here you create an empty group. I can call it dummy. You don't need to add any other stuff in this group. This needs to be empty. So we select our dummy, then OK. Now we create our VPN community. It's a star community. Give it a name. VPN AWS. Add the checkpoint node here. Then add the tunnel one, the interoperable device. Then go through the settings. This will leave like that. All these parameters are supported on AWS side, but PFS is mandatory. You select it. Shared secret, you go to your file. Here is our shared secret. We copy it, go to our console, edit this part, then you just paste. Advanced. Take note, by default checkpoint will put 1440 minutes, but this is not supported on AWS, so make sure you put 480 minutes, which is 28800 seconds. If you are not in traffic on your gateway, you can choose this one to make sure traffic that is going over the VPN is not nutted. Now it's time to add our VPN rule. Add the rule above. We know traffic that is coming from the checkpoint is hiding behind the 192 range. I can either put the host. This is just like an access rule. Going to AWS side, I can put a new network here. We need to use directional match. You see, first time, if you want to configure this VPN, this directional match will be grayed out. So what you need to do, you need to go under global settings, global properties here. Enable this under VPN, advanced. Enable directional, VPN directional match here. Now, once you do that, you'll be able to see that if you do, move to this cell there will be directional mesh condition here then you go internal to internal clear to the community that you created this is our community so if you come here you see these instructions given you go internal clear to your community then your community to your community then community to internal clear. Let me check what I've done here. So internal clear to your community. Then community to community. Second one, directional match. Our community has been named VPN AWS to community. It means we just repeat the same. Then if you check the last step, we need community to community. Community to internal clear. Let's, let's check. Internal clear to community, community to community. Community to internal clear. So you put another one. Community. To internal clear. Okay, let's log our rule as well. Before we push our policy, I want to test communication to the remote end before the VPN is working. I'll do SSH to 172.31.14.27. Of course, we don't expect it to work. Now, let me push the policy. First, you publish. In 
install the policy once the policy is installing we can go to our vpc right now you can see that our vpn tunnels are down when things start to work we should see okay already the tunnel just came up now now we can try our ssh again you can see now we are going over the vpn tunnel if we check our logs I can filter for the IP that we are doing SSH to over the VPN. You can see an encrypted connection after we have pushed the policy. This was before the policy, traffic was being dropped after the policy. Traffic is being pushed into the VPN tunnel. Then if I show you again on the AWS site, your route propagation, if you go route tables, in fact, let me go via the instance so that it's more clear. This is the instance on AWS side under networking. If you go to the subnet, route table, you can see this route has been propagated. Initially, there was no route like 192.168. Now it's there because the VPN tunnel is up. I hope this video will help you in configuring your tunnels. Take note, when you configure a checkpoint fire which is in a cluster, the process is slightly different, but uh, we have to do a separate video on that. Thank you.